Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, sacred star legions of infinite light and eternal life. On the sixth day today of ten galactic activation portal days in a row on the Mayan Zolkin calendar. In this intense red serpent wave spell, we have Galactic Signature Keen 111, Blue Resonant Monkey, bringing in our triple one portal of new beginnings, opportunities, and manifestation. Our local Solaris has flooded this realm with massive gamma plasma waves of adamantine light, releasing four powerful M-class flares and two massive X-class flares over the past 24 hours. Sunspot 3873 released two intense X1.8 flares around 6 o'clock UTC along with the Halo CME. Calling in our 37 into the 73 Heaven on Earth codes. Gaia and all her children of the sun are being enveloped in the cosmic rays of infinite source creator and are being lifted to the higher realms of 5D and beyond. As we return to source through the zero point field, we merge all aspects of our multidimensional self into our one true embodiment of pure crystalline awareness of Buddha mind. All our starseed earth angelics of the 144 continue to anchor the light and rise together into our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand of our Universal Alliance of Light with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Big movements on the chessboard coming soon. Be ready to shift on a dime. New timeline. And today from Divine Angel of the Light, Portal 144. You will soon remember why you chose to incarnate. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Marsac, 2010. We are inside the storm, and our awakening in this dimension is the domino effect for the awakening that has occurred in other dimensions. And today from Codes 7, the final event, the coming Grand Solar Flash, which will propel the entire planet into the fifth dimension of New Earth, where humanity will take its place as a shining cosmic civilization. And today from Illuminaria, we are engaged in emancipation of your world. This is a co-creative effort with humanity and beloved Gaia. It was never about fighting the darkness, for darkness is an aspect of creation. Our focus is on the infusion of light into your world. The golden age is here, Merlin. And today from Divine Alchemist, the storm is upon us. The matrix is collapsing before our eyes. Fasten your seatbelt. A wild ride awaits us. Many things are already happening. Things are intensifying rapidly at the same time and will become more intense as the days go by. There is nothing to fear. The more we feed fear, the more we manifest darkness. Remember, everything that is currently crumbling is giving birth to a new era. Everything is well and proceeding according to the divine plan. This is where we need to channel our energy right now, not clinging to the old and feeding outdated limiting beliefs that eventually dissolve, but contributing to the creation of the new. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fen, 818 coming in, 26th of October, Fire and Water and Dragons and the Phoenix. We began this year with the magnificent entry of the dragons. During the course of the year we have been feeling their energy unfolding on the earth again. 
especially through the energies of fire and water. As we move towards the 1111 Scorpio Gate, we feel them working together with the deep collective consciousness of humanity to act as agents of renewal and change. They wish their energy to be used wisely and not destructively. They wish to bring a new era of peace and joy. They wish us to remember that fire and water are the primal forces of creation and that they can be used in benevolent and life-giving ways. Know that you can flow with fire and water to create in beautiful ways. As one cycle ends, another begins. The phoenix may burst into flames, but those flames are the creative energy of the new, bringing warmth and love to the new creation. And you shape the new creation with your creative consciousness. Once you step beyond fear, you become the creative force of love and the creator of new worlds of love. From CeliaFen.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Aura 444 Another X-Class Solar Flare early this morning. Your brain is receiving gamma waves, and the vagus nerve is the pathway between that and your heart and digestion. Stiff neck, dizziness, heart palpitations, and stomach issues are ascension symptoms. Slow breath work, pressing on that point that showcases the vagus nerve, and slowly bring your head up and down like saying yes. Pause, breathe, and do again. Centering in the now also helps. I am centered in the now. I allow myself to feel calm. A rush of energy needs calming to integrate easier. Speak to your cells as they are the receivers to your biology and environment. Nature, sunlight, H2O, magnesium, peppermint oil, and ginger help. Magnetic poles are shifting and it creates an alignment to light from darkness. You are attuning from distortions on the planetary and solar logos, which biorhythms are connected to. As the poles shift, this brings shifts on the planet and humanity through the stargate portal of the sun. It's why greys and dracos distorted the poles, gravitational and electromagnetic fields. It all works in tandem. Everything is energy. It's why a connection to light is important. It's why you are important. You were made of light. Allow your biology to attune like a violin. The unified fields of consciousness are light and sound. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 102624. You need strength today. It is in you. You need confidence. It is in you. You need courage, centeredness. Competence, self-control, all in you. Today is the compilation of a tough year's labor. You've done the work, made the grade, filled your quota of hard knocks. You've come out on top with more depth, wisdom, resilience, understanding, integrity, and empowerment than you have ever had. These are all your tools for future use. You have spent a lifetime preparing for them, and you will never lose them. Take inventory today and gather them. Claim them and get comfy with them. November will come calling with opportunities, and will expect you to answer with all you have and all you are. And today from Divine Energy Works, the ascension process is not a straightforward, linear journey. It is a deeply multidimensional experience. Rather than a continuous upward climb, it is much more intricate. It is more like a spiral than a straight path. We move through cycles of growth, where we rise higher and higher, but we also revisit deeper aspects of ourselves when needed. This cyclical movement is what allows us to not only reach new levels of consciousness, but to anchor that awareness into our physical bodies and daily lives. Along our soul journey, we encounter multiple descents and ascents, each phase serving a special purpose in our evolution. Every time we descend, we have the opportunity to integrate more deeply, heal on profound levels, and reconnect with parts of ourselves that need attention and love. 
Each time we ascend, we reach a higher level of consciousness, bringing greater clarity, wisdom, and awareness into our lives. Each ascent brings with it new gifts, expanded perspectives, and a deeper connection to the divine. But it's the descents that offer us the opportunity for true transformation, as they ask us to ground our spiritual awareness into the fabric of our human experience. This is the essence of the ascension journey, a dynamic and multidimensional dance of waking up, waking down, and ultimately waking out of old paradigms. As we continue this process, we anchor more light into our being and into the world, creating a ripple effect that raises the collective consciousness. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Big X 1.8 Solar Flare Alert, October 26, 2024, towards the 1111 portal, 144 flowing in. Dear friends, just a couple of days after the major X 3.33 flare, earlier today our sun has generated another big long-lasting X 1.8 flare. Most likely a component of the observed coronal mass ejection will be directed to Earth. We will have to wait and see how this event affects our geomagnetic field in the days to come. Those of you who are energy sensitives may be experiencing some mild headaches, air ringing, fatigue, and other types of energetic disturbances as a result of this long duration X flare. The intensity of the current solar cycle 25 will continue as we navigate the last months of this year and the first half of 2025. We are individually and collectively moving through a long-lasting energy corridor of deep and intense inner and outer transformations. The electric energies of the sun are pushing deeply into unhealed experiences stored in our memory grids that need to be addressed as we continue our cosmic journey into higher frequencies. The Scorpio energies of the upcoming new moon and the powerful 1111 gateway will be felt stronger than usual this year. The fire of this dragon's year keeps transmuting and dissolving the old to make room for new and more enlightened ways of being. In this process, the unhealed ego traumas of accumulated experiences need to be addressed and most likely are now coming up to our present awareness. This requires a lot of patience and self-love and compassion. Otherwise, this deep release of painful wounds will be manifested outwardly as conflict and more suffering. 144 continuing to quantum flash in, 828 flowing in. Like a phoenix being reborn from its own ashes, we are leaving behind layers and layers of accumulated low frequencies from our energy fields, assisted always by the cosmic energies that are guiding and supporting this evolutionary human journey. This celestial fire and terrestrial water alchemical process that is taking place within us is meant to bring us into a new state of unity and inner coherence. The old ways of dualistic experience and disconnection from our divinity are being challenged now, but a new unified and enlightened way of being is being created day by day, all in divine timing. Have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned for more updates as the energies roll in. Much love, we are one. From DiegoBerman.com From Divine Sistar of the Light of Sarah Adams Message from the Pleiadian Syrian Arcturian Council of Light. We are here now. We love you. We are you from your future to assist you on your path. Beloved one, as you are on your path of awakening, know that who you really are is pure, innocent, holy, and at peace. This is how God's source created you. The awareness and deep inner knowing of this truth will allow you to recognize this purity, innocence, holiness, and peace in yourself and your brothers and sisters in your world, as you might perceive yourself and others acting less than pure, innocent, holy, and peaceful. It is important to pause for a moment and to realize that this expression is not who you or others truly are. 
You can choose to shift your perception back into the way God's source created you and those in your world. It might help to visualize a golden light within you. Focus on this pure golden light and begin to feel the deep peace within you expanding. Then imagine this pure golden light to expand within those in your world. Hold this focus as long as possible and give it a moment to reflect itself in your experience. Deep inner peace is the key to your awakening from the dream of illusion in the lower dimensions. The longer you can focus and experience this deep inner peace, the faster you are able to awaken. We are with you every step of the way. You are loved beyond measure. We are with you always. We love you. We are you. Namaste. Thank you, Pleiadian, Syrian, Arcturian, Council of Light. From teloschannel.com 555 code coming in. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. The Transitionary Period We are in the midst of a huge transitionary period as we transfigure into the new light bodies and into the new earth. So much of the old stuff is surfacing, the old patterns. A lot of the old family stuff and humanity's deepest shadows are going to emerge for it needs to. I woke up this morning and during my morning meditations, where I always cleanse and clear my chakras and whole energy systems and all my bodies and fields, I was most surprised at a huge release of old family stuff, not only with my parents and siblings, but it went right into the programming of all the generations before. This I have done so after my clearing and releasing, plus forgiveness of the past. I was shown that as the old DNA is cleared with the new DNA, now being fully activated, the old programming within the DNA, the old gene stuff, and all else is being cleared too. It is literally a total dissolving of the old. It is immensely freeing. I had to go very deep with this into old family contracts, oaths, promises, and all the old rattling skeletons which we all have from both sides of the family, father and mother side. As I was doing this, I was shown how families are interlinked, not only your own ancestral lines, but also families with families which stretch to the very origin of it all. This is immense, so do not be surprised when this extends into the greater human family that of your own country, and that of whole continents, and what has sunk under the ocean, and is now busy emerging again. This is a total clearing of the old, accumulated baggage, all which was hidden under carpets and deeply buried, even in the subconscious and the conscious. Allow all of this to surface, and then ask that you will be totally freed, but you need to also free yourself, as in truth you cannot piggyback anyone into the new earth. You can show the way, but the fact is that even if you speak, if they choose to be still playing out the old roles and are still in the lower vibrations, they cannot hear you and often cannot see you either, as your light becomes too blinding. It is now a matter of fully concentrating on the journey ahead, staying firmly on the path of transfiguration and inner love and joy as you walk your talk, live your truth, and further ascend, in their own way, and in their own time they will follow. Whatever they choose, let them do so with love, especially with what is now lying ahead. We need to truly keep ourselves on ever moving upwards and staying on course, serving with love and joy. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sister of the Lake, Colleen Lemma on Saturday and Sunday, October 26th and 27th, Mercury, ruler of the mental realm, in the regenerative sign of Scorpio, is creating a challenging in conjunct to both Chiron, ruler of past life soul wounds and pain, and Jupiter, ruler of personal belief systems and higher perspectives. We are making adjustments in our thoughts and perceptions now. Scorpio rules death and rebirth. So there is a transformation, transmutation, and rebirth occurring on the mental body level. We are energetically purging, releasing, and letting go of thought processes and assumptions that are no longer valid. 
This may be difficult and require some effort, or this transition may be guided by spirit through your meditation, self-reflection, or dream time. Either way, changes are taking place, bringing us higher awareness and knowledge on a deeper spiritual level. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects, Pluto and Capricorn, Trine Vesta and Virgo. The moon bounces through Leo, bright, excited, playful. But somewhere along the line, the day tips into brittle anxiety, a prickle of nerves, and jumping at every noise. Maybe at times we see the humor in being so jumpy, but maybe we're tired of being on edge, tired of trying to navigate money matters and other insecurities. Perhaps all we need is a new approach or a different way of seeing things. Come closer, says the moon. Here we are, zooming in, patterns appearing that we could never see before. Tiny features emerge from a muddled mess of lines, resolve into dainty lace and natural structures. Pluto's connection to Vesta is the ease we never knew we needed, an exquisite focus on the smallest of details the shape of a bird's feather, the curve of a wing, the exact shade of a petal. Sometimes it's all too easy for the shadow to shut down any attempt at improvement because we hold our standards too high. However, it's also true that sometimes the smallest course correction can result in the greatest transformation. Trust that microscopic shifts are happening even if it feels like everything is at a standstill. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 111, Blue Resonant Monkey. Resonant is the name for the number 7, and its keywords are channel, attune, and inspire. The seventh day is the midway point on any wave spell journey. Right now we are currently traveling through the Red Serpent wave spell with its 10 portal days in a row. Day 7 is always the day we fine-tune our intuition and channel wisdom, and this helps us to move forward consciously. This is very important to adhere to right now, as we're moving through this intense 13-day roller coaster ride. We need all the help we can get. Our best tool at hand is our own psychic abilities. Today is Blue Monkey, which represents magic, play, and illusion. Today we are channeling the monkey. What fun! Enjoy becoming a monkey today and play, for magic will surely come your way. All you need to do is open up to the experience. Allow your inner voice to lead you to monkey magic and learn what monkey knows. The magic is fun. Yesterday the monkey was in the magical occult position and we had fun with him then and now today he is the center of attention. This always occurs because the dog, which is the tenth glyph, and the monkey, which is the eleventh glyph, are each other's occult power. They are the only two in the Zolkeen who are right beside each other and also have this connection. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Resonant Monkey, Seven Chuane, Keen 111, 26th of October 2024. Attuning to Magic and Bliss, Galactic Activation Day number 7, Keen 111 equal 3, Holy Trinity Joy, Creativity Union, 1 New Beginnings Leadership, times 3 Divine Leaders, Divine Heavenly Abundance plus Galactic Activation Portal Day, Super Magic Portal, an absolutely incredible divinely ordained day of supernatural source codes today. A potent recipe to create spiritual alchemy and manifest new earth built on a foundation of pure bliss. Blue Monkey Day, it's time to play with divine spiritual magic. Hold on to your magic wands, beautiful star bliss supernova suns. Today is a humongous magical code, all being unlocked on our sixth gap day in the serpent wave spell. We are right in the middle of our gap immersion. Today is the peak gap day in the cycle of 10, the apex or pinnacle for the energy that has been building up, and what a day it is, very spiritual gifts being granted. How you access this power will depend on your intent. 
Ask and ye shall receive. Day seven in the red serpent wave spell of survival instinct, kundalini rising, life force, passion, and rapid transformation through shedding our old skin. Today we are focused on channeling what we attune to, using our magic wands to cast our dream spells to manifest abundance in order to thrive rather than just survive. We are raising the bar to live as in heaven. We are learning to trust that we can manifest great personal and collective abundance now. Blue Monkey inspires joyful abundance. Play, play, play is the order of this supremely divine day. High magic and play, the best combination, equals fun, fun, fun. Tone of creation, resonant tone seven, in the emotional realm. Action inspires power channels, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the potential for great alchemy today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the magical forces available to us all, preferably white magic. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment. Number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which doubles the magic of the monkey. Today's question is, what magic am I attuning to in order to transcend scarcity and manifest great divine abundance and harmony? Divine blessings for lots of magical play and divine alchemy today. In la quête shalakin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 111, Blue Resonant Monkey. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to play, inspiring illusion. I seal the process of magic with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of abundance. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And now we complete today's transmissions with a divine decree through the invincible, fiery, victorious, mighty I am presence, which I am. I demand the invincible, fiery, victorious hand of the victorious cosmic Christ stand in front of every individual within our land, especially those in public office and in all positions of trust, authority, influence, and control within our land, and accept God in action. I demand God in action and the divine plan fulfilled for America and her people and throughout the world made manifest that all may know there is only God in action in all the energy of the universe. I call the invincible hand of God into action to keep this nation out of war, to protect the light of God within her, control and operate our government system, hold the divine balance of that which God had placed here for the expansion of light in America and throughout the world and fulfill the divine plan of America and throughout the world destiny, the Ascended Master's way, right now, this instant, and forever. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and restful Sunday tomorrow as we continue our journey through the Ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.